I ended up in the ER yesterday, so today's video I am going to be giving you an update on that. Also, I am going to be sharing with you what I eat in a day today. We are keeping it total carbs, so if that's what you're here for, let's get into the video. Welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love all of you and welcome back to my channel. For our first meal, we are going to be making a bacon weave taco breakfast. Bacon, I'm gonna call, you know what I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna call it bacon weave breakfast taco. That sounds good. So I had this idea because I did like that bacon weave pizza so much that I did in my last video. I will actually link that video here. I love bacon. Like truth be told, I absolutely love bacon. That's why keto is so easy for me. It's all the things that I absolutely love. So I decided that I would use that concept for that recipe and make them into tacos. So this is just another twist on a bacon and eggs. We're keeping it clean, total carbs today as well. So let's get started. I am going to be making some bacon weave tacos for my breakfast this morning. We're going to start out with um, a baking sheet. Just put some parchment paper on there. You, you've seen me made the bake, make the bacon weave pizza, but I had an idea to make it into tacos. Then we are going to fill it with our egg, but first we are going to get ready for the bacon and put that in the oven. I'm going to make two smaller ones with the bacon, so let's get started. First we're going to want to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. So I'm just going to do that off to the side and then we are going to get started. I took, let's see how many pieces I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have seven slices of bacon. So I'm not too sure. I know what you have to have them, right? So you have to cut them in half. So I'm going to see if this is gonna be all right. This is not the thick cut bacon. Um, I decided to try it this way first with the thinner bacon because I don't know exactly, um, it's not, it's just going to be a taco, it's not really going to be like, a, it is going to be a base, but do you know what I mean? It's not going to need that structure for being the bottom of like a pizza, this is just going to be a taco. So let's try maybe, because these will shrink up a little bit, but we're going to try it three by three. So that would be six slices of bacon. This is the first time that I've made it this way, um, just with regular bacon and kind of like on a smaller scale. But I would think it's kind of like the same. bacon cut them in half and then just weave two of your bacon weave tacos so I'm just gonna wait until the oven is preset to 400 and then we are going to throw this in the oven for about 30 minutes since our bacon is almost done we are going to get started just on our egg mixture so I am going to get some bacon grease and put it in my pan Bacon grease is all melted. So our, a, our chickens still aren't laying eggs right now. I'm not exactly sure why. They seem to be doing very well and they're healthy and drinking and eating, but they're still not laying eggs. So I had to buy a dozen eggs. So I'm going to use two store-bought eggs. I'm gonna put one in each bacon taco. And I'm just going to cook that on low. And it's just gonna be a fried egg. I'm not going to scramble it or do anything like that. I'm just going to fry them on both sides. I'm going to add the pink Himalayan salt a little bit and also some black pepper. 
and also my homemade everything but the bagel seasoning if you guys want this recipe i will have it linked down below the video that i made this but this is my new favorite i will never go back to buying it i will always make it myself it is that good so i'm going to add some of that as well too and that is it we are just going to let those fry up and once those are fried up then we will get started on assembling our bacon weave tacos <laughs> i wanted to show you guys the setup that i have for the bacon so the bacon came out kind of curled up i should have took a video but it did curl up quite a bit um so i put it on some a plate then i put paper towel and then i put my bacon another piece of paper towel i marinated a steak and then jimmy had gotten me flowers for mother's day <laughs> And I needed something heavy, so I ended up putting that on top. And I did that for about five minutes, just until the uh, eggs were done cooking. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Oh, there. That's much better now. So I recommend... <laughs> I don't know doing something like that. Um, maybe when it first comes out of the oven because I feel like um, That was the problem like it just curled up so so much and honestly the bacon is probably it's still like Pliable, but it's probably done a little bit more than my liking anyways. I don't like my bacon crispy I know probably like 90% of my subscribers do but um, I don't I like it a little bit undercooked to be honest but let's assemble this. I don't have any cheese because I was running late last night or yesterday when I went to work that I ended up taking my shredded cheese with me in order to make my folio wrap and I left it at work. So I'm just going to have bacon and eggs. That is going to be all that is on this. But you guys can add avocados, tomatoes, anything that you want with this that you would normally maybe even have with your bacon and eggs. Um, but I'm just going to have literally the bacon and the eggs inside. So let's assemble our bacon weave tacos. grocery shopping that is one thing that Jimmy and I might do tonight um, get some avocados and some some other stuff as well too but this is pretty plain Jane but it's just kind of like a different way to have bacon and eggs sometimes I just get tired of like having just bacon strips and eggs right so this is just a little bit different so as you guys can see it's just wraps up like a taco and then it's gonna be messy but it's gonna be very very good and you can just eat it right like that you guys these bacon weave tacos are the bomb. They are so good. I don't know why I like mixing my food. So I think that's maybe why I like it because usually if I eat bacon and eggs, I'm always cutting up the bacon and cutting up the egg and eating it together anyways. But these are really, really good. Give it a try. It's really, really simple and easy. Just make sure that you have the time to put them in the oven and and use something to flatten them down when they come out of the oven. And I also wanted to say that I am having a Bang energy drink with that this morning. I'm eating actually fairly early. I was hungry this morning after the whole fiasco of me being emergency last yesterday. I never did end up having any supper. I just wasn't up for eating whatsoever. So I was really, really hungry when I woke up. So that is why I'm having an early breakfast. It is just after eight o'clock this morning. So I'm just gonna finish this. I do work at nine today. So I am going to be going to work. I'm gonna change my top and put on my work shirt and head out the door fairly soon. So I will catch up with you guys in the next clip. Um, I don't know if I'll take any food with me. I might take a couple of snacks maybe because I feel like nine to 5.30 is gonna be a long day without eating. I do have my supper planned out for when I get home, but we will see how everything works out today. Um, but I probably will be taking at least a snack with me to have maybe midday just in case I'm hungry. So. All right, good morning everyone. Here is my update on my ER visit yesterday. So I did work yesterday. I worked seven till 3 p.m. And while I was at work, I did take a lunch with me. So my lunch break was around 12 o'clock and I took a lunch with me, which was the folio wrap that I always make. It's an easy go-to lunch for me, but I wanted something else. So 
I work at like kind of, I always say it's like a glorified convenience store. I do work um, on a military base and every military base here in Canada does have like a grocery store. Um, it's kind of all in one. In Canada, we call it a Canix. Um, and it has a grocery store, it has a liquor store, a post office, uh, we have appliances, we have clothing, camping gear, we sell a lot of it. And mainly our purpose is to serve the military that are either visiting here and doing training or they get posted here to our military base. So I was at work and I felt like I needed something more to go with my lunch. And since it is kind of like a glorified convenience store, we have protein bars there. So the protein bar that I always get, I will actually put it right here, a picture of it. It is a caramel flavor. It's really, really good. It works out to be like less than zero carbs, net carbs. I'm not exactly sure how, but it, it's very, very low in carbs and it's very, very good. So I had bought those before, which I always have on hand at home, but I ran out of them and our store does sell them. However, yesterday they were all out of the caramel ones and I ended up getting the cookie dough one, which I will put a picture of it right here. And I bit into it and I was like, wow, this is a really, really good protein bar. Like it tasted absolutely amazing. And normally if I'm allergic to something, I notice it like right away. And I even spit it out before I even swallow it. I rinse my mouth, I take a Benadryl and usually I'm good. However, for this protein bar, it was so good. I ended up eating the whole entire bar and then I went back out to work about 10 minutes after I finished the bar and I was saying to my coworkers how sick I felt, like my stomach, I felt so nauseous, it was unbelievable. And I felt like I was getting really, really hot. And so the girls that I work with, they're like, well, you look a little bit flushed, but you know, it doesn't seem like you're too, too bad. I said, well, I need to go to the washroom, like I feel like I am gonna be sick. So as I was in the washroom, I never did get sick, but I was very, very nauseous, but I noticed that I was getting redder and redder and my face was starting to swell up. And I normally don't get reactions like that when I have nuts. I have had nuts before on accident, obviously, and it's an anaphylactic um, allergy is what it is. And so before my throat closes up, like instantly, really, really fast, it gets itchy, I can't swallow, then my asthma starts getting worse, I do get hives, and it's, it's like an emergency situation. But I wasn't feeling that this time. My throat felt fine. I didn't even taste the peanuts when I had that peanut bar, or that protein bar, sorry, with peanuts. And, but I noticed that I was just getting really, really red and swollen. And when I was in the bathroom, I thought, wait a minute, maybe something was in that protein bar that I never noticed because I've never had that flavor before. But with cookie dough, I thought that it would be fine, right? Because I've had that same brand in the caramel. So I went out on the floor to check the ingredients and sure enough, there is peanuts right in the protein bar. So then I instantly just went back to the back room. I got my purse, told my manager that I needed to go home um, and take some Benadryl and rest and put a cold cloth on and just kind of relax because like I couldn't even focus at work at this point. So I drove myself home. I was fine enough to drive home and I realized I literally forgot everything at work. I forgot my phone. I forgot the rest of my stuff that was in my purse, my water, and I forgot everything. So luckily my daughter was home and I got a hold of Jimmy and I took two Benadryl like right away, right when I walked through the door. And then I got a cold cloth and then I phoned Jimmy just to tell him what was going on and that my phone was at work. And then he came home like right away. He was home within five minutes because he just works on the military base as well too. And I, by this point I was completely red. Like my whole, my body, my hands, my arms. I went to the washroom, my legs, they were all red, all blotchy. And then I started to get hives and I started to get like big welt hives and it was red on my chest, my face, everywhere was red and really, really swollen. And after 40 minutes, the Benadryl wasn't doing anything. It was getting worse. And then that's when I know that I need to go to the hospital because if you do have any sort of allergies, like whether it's even seasonal allergies, once you take a Benadryl, 
I can feel it getting better within 20 minutes. I can feel, and same with the, an allergic reaction, I can feel it actually stopping and it going in reverse and me getting better. I can feel it at that point. And after 40 minutes, I wasn't feeling that. So um, I said to Jimmy, I said, we need to go to the hospital. Like it's not getting any better. I don't have anything else that I can take. I didn't want to take any more Benadryl because I just took two of them 40 minutes ago and it wasn't doing anything. So we ended up going to emergency. Um, we live about 20, 25 minutes from a major city for a hospital. Um, but we just went the speed limit. I was still doing all right. My breathing was fine. And the one good thing about being anaphylactic to an allergy, um, like to a nut allergy is you get to the front of the line. Like you are in there and you get escorted right in there. Um, so the lady actually at the front that was taking temperatures and doing masks and doing all that thing before you enter the hospital right now, um, she actually did escort me right to triage and the lady took all my information, my blood pressure within two minutes. Um, I was in the back. Like there was a doctor that came and seen me literally within two minutes. We have an excellent healthcare here system in Canada. It's all 100% covered. We don't pay anything. And I always commend nurses. You have the hardest job ever. I actually wanted to be a nurse because I feel like they helped me so much. I was sick a lot as a child. And that was just one thing that I always wanted to be was a nurse. Um, so I commend nurses if anybody is watching and doctors, obviously. Um, so right away they brought in an IV and she had said, I'm going to put an IV in you. When the doctor decides what they want to do, then I will administer the IV, but she just put the IV, but nothing was hooked up to me at that time until the doctor came in and not even like, another two three minutes passed the doctor came in um, checked my breathing checked my throat realized that it wasn't an anaphylactic situation as far as administering uh, administering adrenaline so i do have an epipen as well too i actually have have two epipens but the epipens that i had at home were expired or, were expired and they were cloudy so 100% my mistake there. That is one priority that I am doing this week is um, getting my EpiPens because that is one thing that I need to have, especially living out um, outside of town. Uh, but the, the doctor had said it isn't an anaphylactic situation. My throat and breathing were, were fine. And it was just swelling, redness completely uh, over my entire body had broken out. So they decided that they were going to administer some liquid Benadryl through IV and that they would administer some steroid um, as well too through the IV. And I felt so nauseous even still. So I had asked the doctor if I could have something for nausea. So um, they administered a quick dose of I'm not even sure, but it was for my uh, for my nausea that I was feeling. So they administered all that. They said, you're gonna be here and we're gonna monitor you for two hours. And for those two hours, I was on Benadryl and the steroids. They administered the, the uh, nauseous medication just right through the IV right away. Um, but I was on like the steroids and the Benadryl for the next two hours. And to be honest, when I left the, the hospital, I was feeling better, but I was still like pretty red. It was probably about 50% gone and the swelling was probably down 50%. So the doctor then said, you know what? I think you're good to go. We've administered all we can. Um, you know, your breathing and everything is good. It's not life threatening. So we are going to send you home. But if you're feeling any sort of symptoms or if it does get worse by the time you get home then come right back into emergency so jimmy and i went home and i was exhausted by this point because i had so much benadryl in my system i'm surprised i never did fall asleep at the hospital actually because the nurse even said um, before she gave me the medication she's like we're technically going to put you to sleep <laughs> because it was just a lot of Benadryl that was in my system. But once I got home, I laid down. I was feeling much, much better. Um, I just had some water, watched TV, laid in bed um, because I had left work at one o'clock. Um, I only had two more hours left for my shift. Um, so I thought maybe I was even going to go back to work after I came home and took the Benadryl, but that never did happen. But I ended up resting. I tried to stay awake until the end of the night because I thought if I fell asleep, we came home probably around six 
and I didn't want to fall asleep and then like have trouble getting back to sleep when I did work the next day. So um, that is what happens. It happened yesterday, you guys. It was, it it was scary, and I'm sure too when I'm talking about this, um, it probably is scary for a lot of my subscribers listening to that. But for me, I have lived with allergies my whole entire life since I was literally two years old, not even. And I've had allergy testing all throughout my life. I get it done every two years. I've had as severe asthma, eczema. I've had it all throughout my whole entire life and I'm 44 years old now. So those sort of things don't scare me anymore. My youngest daughter, um, Zoe, she actually has the exact same thing as me, the exact allergies even. And the main thing during that situation is to remain calm. So that is one thing that I have self-taught myself through the years. And I've actually done that since I was probably a teenager. I've just kind of been relaxed and remain calm through the whole situation because once you start your adrenaline gets going and you panic then it gets worse worse whether it's your allergies or an asthma attack so that is one thing it wasn't scary but i just knew myself that when the benadryl isn't working it's time to go to the er and luckily enough my throat wasn't swelling up if that would have been happening I would have went to emergency right away right away somebody would have drove me there and um that's definitely a life threatening situation but it wasn't too too severe it was just kind of like the the redness and the swelling um that i had had but today i feel absolutely fabulous the swelling is all gone the redness is all gone i took one more benadryl before bed and you know everything is all good so it says the doctor always says it takes about 24 hours before it is completely out of your system um but i feel absolutely wonderful today so thank you guys for messaging i was wanting to upload a video um, on Monday and I never got around to it. Um, I was going to finish filming that video actually and then post it right away and then like once I got home because I had finished it halfway through. Um, that video will be posted later in the week. I'm going to finish that as well today um, but I never got a video uploaded so um, thank you so much for your understanding and your kind comments and your well wishes. I appreciate it so much through Instagram. You guys even sent me some dms i always update on instagram i put my instagram on every video and i even have it linked right down below but follow me on instagram because i post all my meals what i'm drinking what i'm doing emergency visits <laughs> so anyways you guys oh, I just want to thank you so much for being here and you guys are really really so kind you're all my friends i always feel like i'm talking to my friends it's kind of like i got something to tell you you know uh so I enjoy sharing as much as I can on YouTube with you guys. All right, everyone, I just pulled up to work. So I work a full day today of nine until 5.30. So I will show you guys if I have any snacks like I had said in the previous clip. I think I didn't bring anything with me, but I think what I might do is get a beef and cheese stick. There will be no... No more protein bars for me um, anytime soon. I feel like when I have an allergic reaction to something, that just kind of throws it off for like any kind of food like relative, right? So like that was a protein bar and I probably won't have protein bars for, for a while now after that scenario. So I will see you guys in the next clip if I do have anything. Now, and I am going to have a little snack. It is... It's three o'clock actually, so I'm just going to have a little snack. Jimmy and I are going into town after I'm done work, so I'm gonna see what I get. I don't think I'm gonna cook what I originally had planned to cook, um, but that's all right, I can make it tomorrow night. So we are gonna head into town after I'm done work and I'll grab something in town and I will show you guys what I get. But right now, I'm going to have a Diet Dr. Pepper. And with that, I'm going to have my meat and cheese stick. So I'm gonna have that for a snack and I will see you guys probably after work. All right, we are in Medicine Hat. We picked up Zoe. There she is. Hi, I'm sushi. <laughs> Zoe got sushi and um, what else did you get, Zoe? I got a bento box, so there's like... Oh, a bento box. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know what to call it, like a stir fry thing. Or then um, sushi and egg rolls. Nice, and Jimmy got lunch for tomorrow. What'd you get, Jimmy? <laughs> He's 
<laughs> he probably he probably he probably can't remember what he got. I got a noodle bowl. Oh, you got a noodle bowl. Okay, because uh, usually he'll forget what he orders. But that's, I had to order for him. Uh, I thought so. I wasn't there. Um, usually Jimmy doesn't eat suppers. He always um, just has like a couple snacks throughout the day and his lunch, and he does not have supper. And I ended up getting a salad. And I will show you guys here in one Whoa, sec. Oh, looks fantastic. <laughs> Jimmy's driving. It's crazy. I got it on cruise. We're good. Okay. This is my salad. So I ended up getting the chicken bacon ranch salad and I got it chopped. Um, I love this salad. I had it actually once before when I was at work at Winners. They um, had a Subway day and it was really really good so i decided to have it again i got everything on it except for jalapenos and olives i left out but i've got it fully loaded other than that you so peanuts no <laughs> too soon <laughs> Uh, so this is going to be my supper tonight. I will also have the calories and the carbs on the screen for my supper and we will see you guys when I get back home. All right, everyone, we are back home. It is almost eight o'clock and we are done for the night. Um, I finished my last meal that we finished it in the car because the restaurants here are still closed. They do allow takeout, but you can't eat any of the in eat in at any of the restaurants. Um, so I finished my salad in the car. It was very, very good. I love that salad. Make sure you give it a try next time that you're at Subway. They make really, really good salads there. Um, yeah, and I took my ketones when I got home. I will put that on the screen right now, but I was pleasantly surprised, you guys. I can't believe how good I'm doing right now as far as like my ketones. I don't have any glucose strips left, and I do, I can't order anymore for the old um, Keto Mojo machine that I have because they actually came out with a new machine. Um, so I'm just waiting kind of until I finish all of the ketone ones, and then I will order a new machine with new strips for that machine. Um, but until then I'm just gonna check my ketones because more than likely I always feel if your ketones are pretty good um, my glucose is probably fairly low um, for the most part that's always what I found anyways so as long as my number is that high um, like a 1.3 or 1 or higher I'm definitely in ketosis whether it's moderate or high but still really really good so I I'm happy, really happy with my eating today. I kept it all clean keto, which I'm happy about and I feel amazing. And that is it for today's video. Guys, so make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.